We'll speak when the oath is complete. Yeah, I know we're speaking later. But I want to speak now. I also want to get through here. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Yeah, okay, now open up the gate, lady. Thanks, lady. Ooh. Very, uh... Um... Stone bridge fied Because that's totally a word. You know, this reminds me of Fable, too. Yet the heroes. I call upon you, Lady Nocturne. So there's four heroes. Queen of Mercury. An Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, oh, hey, look, it's Teresa. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? We can fun of her? I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? Uh, I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you so... both in life and in death. Oh, I see. We're bartering this now. Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. <laughs> she feigns well, interest. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturne, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you, to both to your Avengers you. and your Sentinels. Now we get super we luck. honor our agreement in this life and the next. Sort of. Until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. Whoa. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Oh. And then she's gone. Just like, bloop. Gone. Into the black hole. So now what? Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer yeah. was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. A key By that doing unlocks this, all doors. He's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. I see. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. Hmm? All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Huh. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the oh. potential becomes limitless. It's a Millennium Key. I get it now. I see. And you get some random Egyptian dude walk up to me like, Hey, I got the skill. You put it to your head, then you go then into you your own understand brain. understand why this is about so more than just mercy for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, Things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Lies. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. <laughs> Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. What? I suggest you listen to him. What can obviously be more important listen, than returning Lars, this thing of a There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. What? The leadership of the guild. Yeah, you. Listen, Lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before that. we go after Mercer. You just The leadership said that. of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. You were talking efforts. about me? Mercer's treachery Freaking has been exposed. Gossip. After we Gollies. deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader huh? of the Thieves' Guild. I don't want to replace Mercer. I want to kill Mercer. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles. I want to get my murder priests on. For murder. I'm good at what I do. 
Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never no, cared exactly for it. exactly am Don't I supposed it. to lead a bunch of thieves? Uh, I, I really... Fine. Well, I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. Happy. So don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll Ignore handle the, the train, details. Ignore the train, please. Until then, Apparently a train, we have a train running through the middle of the Twilight Sepulchre here. It's all right, I've been guys. over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Urkenthan. Carlyon and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight Prepare to Prepare yourself for battle. Oh, so... Uh, I guess we're nine kills now. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Ha! <laughs> I'm not really laughing. If you would not have asked really. me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, <laughs> I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than I know, spend the rest I'd of my lead life us down regretting a suicidal that I'd path. run the other way. Why am I the guildmaster now? Really, why? <laughs>